This is Standing Watch. And now, Evangelist Norbert Link. Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to our Standing Watch program. One of the most telling events in 2017 was the striking abrogation of the United States of America and Great Britain as global leaders. And this development is extremely striking because it has been prophesied in the Bible. In our free booklets on Europe and prophecy, the Great Tribulation, and also the fall and rise of Britain and America explain these events in much more detail. I'd like to give you a short overview of what has been said in many magazines and newspapers and on the internet regarding this development. Here's an article by the Daily News, dated December 29. In 2017, Donald America First Trump relinquished America's 70-year role as global leader, a post already diminished by his two predecessors. Nowhere is the U.S. withdrawal more evident than in the Middle East. The Middle East is entering a new era where Washington is no longer the major player. And as the United States pulls back, Russia and Iran rush in, along with Turkey and even China. And then the article goes on to say that Israelis, Arabs, Kurds, all are trying to calculate how to operate in a new era, where the United States is no longer the main player to turn to in a dicey region. Now, this was echoed by an article by the Washington Post dated December 28, saying, The largest trend today is the decline of American influence. Not the decline of American power, but a decline of its desire and capability to use that power to shape the world. When I read that, I was reminded of a prophecy in the book of Leviticus, where God is saying that I will break the pride of your power. The article in the Washington Post goes on to say that this month, German Foreign Minister Sigmar Gabriel declared that the most important changes affecting our Western world, and indeed the world as a whole, stem from the United States' current withdrawal under Trump. And then it says that Canada's Foreign Minister thanks the United States for its seven-decade-long stewardship of the international system and strongly implied that under the Trump administration, American leadership of that system had reached its end. Here's an article by The Week, dated December 29. America's power and global influence have plummeted like a stone during the Trump presidency. The likeliest nations to fill some of the power vacuum are Germany and France. And that, in turn, was echoed by an article by Der Spiegel, dated January 5, saying this. The liberal world order that the United States spent seven decades building is disintegrating. The U.S. is withdrawing from the global stage on three different fronts, militarily, morally, and a key leader of the international community. Looking ahead, Germany will have to lead. But where to? The new global situation will mean a departure from the good Germany. When principles collide with pragmatism, when values clash with interests, Berlin will be forced to make difficult decisions. Now, that does not sound good. That does not sound good at all. And here's an article by the New York Times, dated January 9, about President Macron of France, because he, during a three-day visit to China this week, has worked at every turn to win over China's leaders as they grapple with the strident nationalism of President Trump. Mr. Macron articulated a vision sharply at odds with Mr. Trump's worldview. And then the article goes on to say that analysts said Mr. Macron was positioning himself as a reliable ally of China at a time when the United States, under Mr. Trump, is withdrawing from the world stage. 
So who will fill the gap? Ultimately, it is going to be a United States of Europe, because that idea is not dead at all. And it's going to be under the leadership of Germany and to an extent France. The Spiegel Online wrote on January 8 that European Commissioner Günther Oettinger said in an interview with the Spiegel that a United States of Europe is a worthwhile goal. That's what he said. Konrad Adenauer spoke of the United States of Europe, as did much earlier Victor Hugo. What they meant is more relevant than ever. There are challenges that we Europeans can only meet together. As bad as Brexit is, it has brought Europeans together. And that is also very interesting in light of this article by Politico, dated January 3, entitled The Incredible Shrinking Britain. It said that a few recent events illustrate how Brexit has taken its toll on Britain's foreign policy. The UK presence has been barely noticeable. And then pointing at a summit in 2016, the article said, no one took notice whenever the UK raised an issue and just simply changed the topic. Brexit could very well be the country's worst geo-economic miscalculation to date. The UK's global role springs from its close relationships with continental Europe, from which it is abdicating, and the White House. The declining affinity between the UK and the US in recent years has proven the limits of Britain's influence over a range of issues. And the era of America first makes it unlikely it will return anytime soon. And the truth of the matter is it won't return at all prior to Christ's return. The downfall of the United States of America and of Great Britain is inevitable, and you've heard me say these things many, many times before. And now we see more and more how even worldly magazines and articles point out this undeniable fact. But this is of great importance for your future. And if you want to know more about it, please read our free booklets, which I have advertised at the beginning of this program, European Prophecy, the Great Tribulation, The Fall and Rise of Britain and America. These booklets explain to you from the pages of the Bible what is prophesied to happen to the United States of America and Great Britain and the rest of the world in the not-too-distant future. Thank you very much for listening. This is Norbert Link for the Standing Watch program. Standing Watch is a presentation by The Church of the Eternal God, P.O. Box 270519, San Diego, California, 92198. More information is also available at our website, eternalgod.org.